guys? Welcome back to my video. This is Crosby, if you haven't seen him already, from the Nomad Nurse. This What's YouTube up? channel. He does a traveling, nursing, vlogging, all combined sort of YouTube channel right. and has some awesome footage. And he has a drum. So yes. you already know it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I, I won't crash this one like the other one. <laughs> I mean, if you wonder what he's talking about, he's got a whole video on it too. So Crosby's a travel nurse. He just finished his assignment in Nevada and uh, has been living in his Jeep, like living yeah. his whole life, lifestyle, living in his Jeep, being a travel nurse, exploring, driving all these places. And so we wanted to do a video to like talk about travel nursing because I've never done travel nursing. I know travel nurses, so I know like a little bit, but really I've never done it and you have more insight. And I get a lot of people that ask me questions like, how do I come, become a travel nurse? What experience do I have to have? And all those questions. So he's gonna answer all those questions right now. I so, am. Go. All right, so what's the question? <laughs> so I think, let's just start with like, how you, how do you become a travel nurse? Like, what's the first step? If you're looking okay. into it, what All right, so do? yeah, so like, becoming a travel nurse, it's, it's really like, you need to have whatever your specialty is. Like, if you have, um, like if you're a med surge or ICU or ER, you need to have at least two years. Yeah. So you have to have at least two years as, in your specialty as a nurse. I think some of them may take, um, may take, like a year and a half or something. Yeah, I think it's but, a kind of give or take. Like right. You need experience. Right. You need you need to have experience because when you get to that floor, they're going to expect you to hit the ground running. Like you have your little orientation when you get to the hospital, mm -hmm. and like a day or two of that, and then you know you're you're full you're fledged. In, yeah. They just okay. let you go. Right. So um, so yeah. Like so, the first part is you need to have two years experience um in your specialty. Um, the other thing uh, about like becoming a travel nurse is there's there's agencies. Um, I think like I'm with American Mobile. There's like supplemental health care, mm -hmm. something staffing. Like there's just all hundreds probably yeah, of different of travel agencies. And what they do is you you talk to them and they give you a. They basically tell you how to how all right. So how the pay breaks down is like this. So you get your regular. Um, what am I trying to say? Nursing pay. Yeah. All right. So you get your regular nursing pay. And then you, uh, on top of that, you get your housing allowance and your food allowance in per diem, which is not taxed. The only thing that is taxed is your nursing pay. That's nice. That is really nice. <laughs> so, so yeah, so like that is taxed, um, just your nursing pay, but the other part isn't taxed. So, you know, you're probably actually end up making more from that than you do the actual nursing pay. Yeah, and if you're um, smart about it, like some people I know are travelers and they're like, Woohoo, I'm gonna go live up life and they like b rent out the most expensive place. Yeah, it's like what's like, the point? And then you, know? you basically which is still like that's what you want to do, that's right. right, and that's a wonderful option of being a travel nurse. But then like the, you're not really gonna be making that extra money because you're like literally just spending it. And that's money. that's like I mean that was sort of like when I started staying in the Jeep, that's kinda of was like I was like, Why should I go and pay rent here? I, yeah, I get to travel, but that's a that's a waste of money to me. Like I'm you know you don't want to have to go and actually like not make any money mm -hmm. on a travel assignment. The whole point of going on a travel assignment is to see the place and make money. Yeah. Um, I know people who like do like Craigslist, mm -hmm. like they'll just pop them into the town, stay in a, stay in a hotel for a couple of days, nice. call Craigslist up, you know, they have all these like, you know, rooms for rent, mm -hmm. you know, for 300 bucks and yeah. you know, you're, you're banking the rest of the time. Yeah. And um, so basically like you find your agency and you have your you have your experience. You find yeah. your agency. You go through them to do kind of. Some of them require like interviews, don't they? Yeah, no, all of them do. All right, okay. so like when you do, like they'll do an, an interview with you, and you'll also do a skills checklist. Mm -hmm. You get your you get a thing. You do a skills checklist. You do an interview with the agency as well as the hiring hospital. Oh. So um, whatever the hiring hospital is, that it's usually a phone interview um, because you know obviously you can't go across the country somewhere and do an interview, but. They, they'll pretty much do a good job of asking questions, trying to do the screening out process, mm -hmm. um, who they can and can't hire. And it's also good as a travel nurse to make sure you're asking questions to them too, because oh, yeah. <laughs> trust me, it does go both ways um, <laughs> on that end. So yeah, you do your interview. Um, trying to think what else. Um, and a lot of times, and correct me if I'm wrong, the person that you're inter getting interviewed by with the agency isn't always nurse like nursing. Because I know someone who works for a travel agency and hires nurses for these companies. Yeah. But he's actually not a nurse. And like I mean over time you get to know what questions you should and shouldn't ask, but like 
No, but, yeah, not yeah, no, no. All right, so the, usually, usually it's a recruiter. Yeah, exactly. Right, That's and, what he is. Yeah, yeah. So the recruiter will will, will have a, a set of their questions, and that's some basic screening out questions, like the basic, a little bit of uh, medical terminology, yeah. but not much. And then, um, then you will go, you get that done with that interview. Oh, I also want to say one thing. You always have to have all of your credentials too. Mm -hmm. You have because you're gonna have to get state license, uh, ACLS, PALS, BLS. That's the main three. Uh, I don't know about med surge though, but I know ICU is like that. And I know yeah, and I don't know if like, I don't think if I want to do IC travel nursing, I don't think I would have to have PALS because I don't do PEDS, you know, PQ, yeah. but I would, I mean, I have my ACLS and my BLS and all that. And so, yeah, so like depending on like, and I don't even think you have to have uh, PALS on med surge. No, I doubt I it. I Unless think. you're like working in pediatric general, like, right. Floor. So, so basically, like they'll like give you once you get through this process, they can give you a list of places where you can go. Right. And then you. And usually, what happens are I mean, how I find all the places is there's a Facebook page, like a traveling nurse mm -hmm. opportunity or something. I can't remember the name of the page, but they have literally every day posts on like different places okay. to go. Like they have, and they'll actually show the prices, and they they'll show like how much you'll take home. Um, like Alaska has a like big time pay. Mm -hmm. um, Places that nobody wants to go. I said rural hospitals. Usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rural hospitals, but you know, like with me, like I wanted to go to a rural hospital mm -hmm. because I was out. I need to sleep in the jeep, be out in the you know. Yeah, you could. Um, <laughs> so, city. so yeah, and, and then like there's another one. Like I have a uh, a verbal assignment. I haven't I haven't actually signed anything yet, but it was in uh, L.A. in mm -hmm. uh, Burbank. I don't know if I'm gonna take that, but I think it would be. You know, obviously won't live in the jeep, but it would be a cool experience. Oh. Heck yeah. Um, and it was in Burbank Hospital, so that was like right down with like Hollywood and yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> what are some like downsides to travel nursing that you've noticed? Because like everyone yeah. talks about, oh, it's so great, I travel, I get extra money and blah, blah, blah. Right. Oh. But like there's, I know there's definitely some downsides. Oh, absolutely. I mean, because you're, you're going to be working a lot. Like yeah. you're, I mean, the, the whole point of having a travel nurse is they're going to be short staffed. Exactly. That's the whole That's reason the, they're there. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're going to be busy. Like with me, my shift was 11 8 11 p mm -hmm. and literally when i went in there i was busy all 12 hours very rarely took a lunch i mean you eat kind of on the go um because i mean our er was just you know packed all the time um now so that that would be a downside but i mean other things like you may clash with people because some of the nurses don't like Travelers. travel because they know they're, they're making more money yeah. you're there you're making more you're probably almost double what some of them are making mm -hmm. and um you know, they have their own little systems and their own little clicks and things like that. Um, I haven't really seen it, but I've heard of other um, other you nurses. You don't pay attention. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, they could be all mad at me, and I have no clue. Um, yeah, and I don't know. Like, I know with travelers we've had in the ICU. I mean, we're usually short staff. That's why we have them. But if for some reason we have a shift where our core staff meets the requirements right. for our staffing you're the first to get canceled because yes, you're the yes, most expensive. Absolutely. So yep. that's a downside is if for some reason it's slower, you're going to be first to get canceled. I mean, some people love that, but I mean, you kind of, you make more money, so it kind of can make up for it in a way. Um, you're also first, at least what I've noticed, you're first to get floated. So, yes, and that's yes. hard being an ICU nurse because you're so stuck in your ways. And then if you have to go to med surge and suddenly you have like five or six oh, patients, yeah. you're oh, like, oh, what am I doing? I don't know how right. to do this. So you're the first to get canceled, first to get floated. Um, so those are good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're basically, just remember why you're there. You know, if you if you do a assignment, you have to always remember, like, you're here to help. Mm -hmm. Like, in any means, that's why they're paying you the money. Mm -hmm. You're here to help out. And um, that's basically it. I mean, is that a downside? I mean, it, it does. It, the hospital I just left, it was extremely busy. Like, mm -hmm. one of the busier hospitals I've worked at. Um, but I also knew my role. Um, so when I went to work, I was just prepared to like, okay, we're about to, we're about to do it. You know, get raped the whole shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, but you know, and the other thing about travel nursing, probably a downside was like, you don't know the town you're in. Yeah. So you, you know, you have to figure out the town, which is cool though. I mean, it can be cool, but you don't know the people, you don't know anything about it, mm -hmm. but so you got to figure that out too. 
Yeah. And then another thing I think we didn't really mention, with travel nursing you have contracts. So I would say yes. the standard one's about three months. Three months. Sometimes people can do six months. Sometimes you can extend. And the, they, they actually have some in, uh, I was looking the other day, they actually have six-week contracts now. Oh my gosh, that'd be yeah. a lot of moving. Yeah, that That's would be. <laughs> that would be a lot. I like my roots. You, you, would, be, you would be going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I think that kind of sums it up and gives you guys a good like foundation and base for what travel nursing is. If you have any more questions, you can ask him down below or go to Crosby's channel and ask on his channel because yeah. he loves getting comments. So everyone should go to his channel. Yes. Say that you saw him on my channel and I sent you over there. Subscribe, Subscribe. follow him, and it's great. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Yep.